Hello everyone, welcome to my channel for another crochet tutorial. Today, I will teach you how to make this decorative uh, pillowcase. I used mosaic crochet technique and the pattern is a variation of the popular Apache tears. So we will learn how to crochet this pattern. I will also demonstrate how to begin without uh, sewing when we are done. So we will close it at the beginning. Okay, and then I will teach you how to join my rounds neatly like this one. And this is not done yet. This is not closed yet, but we will uh, close our pillowcase together without sewing. All right, so let's uh, gather our materials and let us crochet. Before we proceed, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel and Hit that bell button right beside the subscribe button if you want to get notified for my future videos. Okay, to complete this project, we will need two kinds of yarn with contrasting colors. You can use a variegated or striped yarn to achieve the mosaic effect. If you like the color of this pillowcase, you are welcome to use the idea. And you can find the information in the description below. But for this tutorial, I will use this white as my color A and this blue as my color B. Both are worsted weight yarn. And my size G or 4 millimeter crochet hook. And my darning needle and scissors to take care of my ends. And my marker to mark the beginning of my rounds. We will also need a pillow insert the size appropriate for your project. We will begin the pillowcase with the chain the length of our desired diameter. Okay, so if you are decided on the diameter, you go ahead and make a chain in multiples of nine, which are stitches for our pattern repeats. If your diameter is 18, like mine here, you will need to chain 72 but today I will only chain 18 in this video to demonstrate how a bigger project is done okay so let's set aside this project and we will start by making a chain okay so I do this like this one two three four five six seven eight nine you chain in multiples of nine one two three four five six seven eight nine now I have 18 chains here and then I'm ready for my first round okay I'll set that aside so it's not a distraction okay to begin the first round we chain one and then we put what we do in the first round is we put single crochet all around our chain in the top loops and the bottom loops Okay, after chaining one, you insert your hook in the second chain from the hook, just like that, the top loop, and make a single crochet. And I have here my marker. I will use that to mark my round. Okay, and then I will work single crochet all around my chain. And you do that with your chains. If you have made 72 like my 18 inches diameter uh, pillowcase I've shown you, then you go ahead and do that. Okay? And I will stop my uh, video here while I work my, my single crochets and I will meet you at the end here to join my round. Alright, I am done putting single crochet around my chain. So this is how it should look like. If you have 72 chains, you should have 144 single crochet all around. And make sure you complete that number, okay? So to join my round, there's my marker. I will insert my crochet, crochet hook in that first single crochet I made in the beginning of the round, just like that, under two loops, and then you slip stitch. Okay, that last stitch should not be counted as um, a stitch, or a, that loop, I should say. It's not a stitch. Okay, so what we do is we pull our loop here in the hook 
to make that as small as it can be. All right. So now I'm ready for my second round. So I chain one again. Don't forget in every round we begin it with a chain. In the second round we work another row of a single crochet. Now this time to the back loops of our previous stitches. Okay, so that first stitch where I connected my round will be where my first stitch for the second round is. Okay, so I insert to the back loop like that and draw a loop. I have two loops and make a single crochet. And then again, let's mark our beginning. That way it's easier to identify. All right, and we work single crochet all around, working in the back loops of our uh, previous stitches. Okay, and do this all around, making sure if you, as I said, if you have 72 inches diameter, you should have 144 uh, numbers of stitches. All right, so I am done with my second round working single crochet worked in the back stitch of the previous row. So I am ready to join my round. I remove my marker and insert my hook right in those two loops of the first stitch of the round. Okay, just like that and make a slip stitch. Again, that last loop is not counted as our uh, stitch, so we make it small or if you can make it disappear, do that. All right, so because that's not counted. That way we make our join there um, neat. Okay, and then again, we chain one and then we repeat our second row two more times for a total of four and then we will be ready for a change of color. Okay, I am done four rounds of my single crochet using color A and now I'm ready to join my last round for the color A and then we will change color. Okay, as we normally do, we insert our hook in that first stitch on both loops and we make a slip stitch and then that's last Again, we make it disappear that last loop. All right, now we go to our color B. Make sure that you leave uh, enough tail end so you can sew when you're done, okay? All right, so we just make a chain one there using our color A, and then that last white loop there is not counted as our stitch, so we pull our tail here and make that as small as possible. All right, so using our color B now, we chain one as the beginning of our round. Okay, with this color B, we will make another round of single crochet to the back loops, just one time. Okay, now I am done with that one, just one round, and I am ready to connect. Remember, the first stitch here is a chain. So we insert, our, we skip that and we insert our hook right in the next. That's the first uh, single crochet of the round. Okay, and then again we slip stitch and make that last loop disappear by pulling this tight. Okay, now let go of that color B and we go back to color A. No cutting, alright? So we just carry our yarn every after um, row. Okay, so we make a single chain again. To begin our round and pull this tight to make it small or smaller or um, if possible disappear and we use our color A for a chain. All right now in this row we will begin our pattern. Our pattern calls for nine multiples of nine stitches so the first three stitches is worked um, making double crochet but we don't insert our hook in that first stitch. What we do is we connect our color A with the last row of color A right below the color B. Okay, does that make sense? All right, so to make a double crochet, we yarn over and we insert our hook in that front loop of the first stitch in that last row of our color A, just like that. Okay, and then we draw a loop and now 
yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two for the first double crochet okay and we do three of those so that's one two and three now the first row is three DCs and then followed by six single crochet to the back loops all right so we have put three DCs here so mean means uh, it means we skip the three single crochet in the back it's like we stop the flow of our color B to create that mosaic effect all right so we skip the one two three and we make our single crochet in that fourth uh, stitch to the back loop all right make sure your yarn is at the back working yarn is at the back of your work and make a single crochet to the back loop all right do that six times two three four five and six that makes up our nine stitches so we do this repeat this in our multiples okay five and six all right now when we join our round we insert our hook right on top of our first double crochet right here insert your hook in both loops and slip stitch and then again pull that tight and we go back to our color B and we make a single chain there and pull that tight and another chain using our color B now on top on the second round of our pattern we do three single crochets three DC's double crochets and three single crochets and we do that all around Three, three single crochets and then followed by three DCs. One, two, and three. Those DCs should be connected with the color B. If we work DC of color B, we make sure we connect them to color B in the previous row. Okay, below, no, below the previous row. That's where we collect connect our color B okay, or your blue to blue and your white to white and then after DC we skip our three stitches to the back of our double crochets here and then we make single crochet three single crochet after that to the back loops again two and three and then we repeat that multiple of nine okay three single crochets here The last is three single crochet. Okay, now to join the rounds again, insert your hook, skip your chain and insert your hook in that first stitch and make a slip stitch and then pull tight and then go back to color A and make a chain, pull tight and another chain one for your color A. All right, so in this, in this row, we make uh, six single crochets in the first six spaces and then make a double, three double crochet in the Okay, so to the back loops, always work in the back loop. One, two, Three, four, five, and six, and then 
double crochet connecting your color A to color A. One, two, and three. Okay, and then we repeat this uh, multiple of nine, our nine stitches in the next. And then double crochet here. One, two, and three. All right. So if you have repeated your repeats, completing um, your stitches, you're ready to join. Again, that first here is our chain. So make sure you're inserting your hook on top of your first single crochet of the round okay and slip stitch pull that tight and you go back to your color b all right so that's the three repeats that we uh, we will do okay the first is three dc's three uh, six single crochet and the next is three single crochet three dc's and three single crochet and the third is six single crochet and three dc's and then we repeat those that pattern in the I repeated my pattern my round six seven and eight one more time and this is how it looks like so you go ahead and uh, repeat those patterns until you achieve the height that you want for your pillowcase and don't forget to end uh, your pillowcase with the same band that you have in the beginning. Uh, four rounds of single crochet worked to the back loops. All right, so when I come back, I will bring my uh, finished project and we will put the pillow insert and crochet to close the top, okay? Okay, now my pillow insert is inside my pillowcase. I am now ready to close my top. The first thing I do is I make a slip knot because we cannot um, sew in our tail ends afterwards. It, it will stay right here. Okay, and then you locate the joint, the last of your round, which should be, uh, which should have been closed uh, securely. And then you draw a loop okay and then we chain one all right and then the, the next is we uh, insert our hook in between our stitches here the top stitches in between those uh, V's okay just like that and then make sure your working yarn is under and then you do the same on the other side just like that so now I have three loops in my hook and then I will uh, draw a loop through all those three stitches okay our goal is to make a chain on top of our um, pillowcase here right let's do that again Make sure that your yarn is under, insert it in between the V, and then go to the next V here. And now you draw a loop pulling through those three stitches. Okay, again, and we work like this all through the end. And then just keep working like that. Just like this. And last. Okay, I will be working off my frame so I won't take all your time. Okay, it will appear like this. 
okay, until the end, all right? Okay, so it's now done, all right? There's the top. Then here's the other side, all right? Okay, so I hope you will try it and if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. And if you have questions uh, regarding this project, please just write them down in the description below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay? All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Thank you. Bye now.